Hi, good evening, everybody. College basketball season still a few months away, but the Islander women's team is already hard at work getting in shape during these brutal summer workouts, something they could not do a year ago due to the pandemic. I had a chance to look in on one of the workouts, and here's what I saw. Uh, the pain you're going to feel in these situations is temporary. Let's get after it so that we can be better so that when the fall rolls around, we'll be ready to rock it, all right? Well, last year with that, with the COVID, we did not have an opportunity to develop any chemistry. So you win basketball games that are tight with your chemistry. So this year we're really working hard to develop the chemistry for our basketball team. What a difference a year can make. I mean, it was 12 months ago when players were not allowed on campus and they had to work out on their own. And now Coach Chadwick is able to work his players in person eight hours a week. Good. Good. I'm super excited to be back on the court with everybody. Uh, this year's going to be a lot different. We have more time to interact with each other. Last year, we just had to uh, basically practice and go home so that so we could avoid COVID protocols. And Among the new faces you will see this coming season is Vio Verano all the way from Spain. Now, she did play at Bradley her freshman year before deciding Texas is the place she wanted to be. When I heard about Texas and Corpus Christi, I wanted to come uh, for the weather, for the, you know, Texas has always been a special state for me to come here, so I choose Corpus Christi. And Pass it with one, catch it with one. These off-season conditionings will officially turn into regular season practice in September, and the Islanders will play their first game in November at Texas A&M. All right, I think they'll do good. Coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, Katya, we're going to talk about a, a local young man who was drafted by the Washington Nationals today. More on that at 10 o'clock. Back to you.